Good evening and welcome to News Geelong, our midweek edition from the home of the Bell Park Dragons here at Hamlin Park as the rain driftly falls and a wonderful, wonderful uh, weekend coming up in grand final weekend in Geelong. Other news around Geelong today, located in Geelong's eastern suburbs, Splashdown Aquatic and Recreational Centre celebrates its 25th birthday, while the second annual Walk With Me, organised by Scope, that's an organisation for people with a disability, in the beautiful surrounds of our own eastern gardens last Sunday, saw hundreds turn out in support. From the world of sport, Mitch Scoop Cleary brings us all the latest in the world of sport in Geelong, and from the weather world, Geelong and the surf coast weather expected over the next six days. In early November 2011, Don Bird underwent life-changing phrenic nerve surgery in New Jersey in the United States of America, performed by Dr Matthew Kaufman. John Don has shown remarkable progress following what Dr Kaufman said was his most difficult surgery to date. Meryl Friend has more. We're here at the Criterion Track and we were able to catch up with Don Bird who last October had a serious condition called paralysed phrenic nerve and he was able through great generous donations and fundraising to go over to America and have a life-saving operation. Last year we were chatting to you and at the time you were suffering from a paralysed phrenic nerve and your son Ryland did a ride from Sydney to Geelong in aid of a fundraiser. That was a very special time wasn't it? Yeah, that was a special time for the family, a bit worrying for me stuck at home because they were out on the road for approximately 10 days doing the ride um, and obviously traffic and major highways they were involved with but uh, I annoyed them, phone calls, emails, everything on the road and they kept me up to date and the boys got home and uh, I must admit my father-in-law Ray McNamara, he was a bit tired when he got home but uh, Ryland could have got up and done it again I think. It seemed like that on the day. Yeah, he, we had a party till the late hours of the night uh, when they came home uh, to celebrate the ride and also my wife's birthday and uh, yeah, he could have got up the next day and he just rubbed his eyes and <laughs> he could have gone again I think. Awesome and that did uh, raise quite a substantial amount of funds as well? Yes, we uh, totaled $13,000 for the ride, um, which was fantastic, which included a large sum from PowerCore. Uh, they donated a large sum, they got a health and safety award, and then they on passed that on to me, which uh, my father-in-law Ray works for PowerCore, so that was much appreciated. And from there, you travelled over to the USA and New York, and you were able to have that pretty life-saving surgery. How's it all turned out? Yeah, we travelled over to New York, my mother-in-law and my uh, my daughter Remy. Uh, we went to New York and first time overseas to a big place like that and my eyes and my neck was sore for a few days swivelling around and uh, we got to see the doctor and the doctor's staff and uh, the term ugly American for the whole five, five weeks we're there never showed um, and they were great. The staff, the people, everyone in shops even, we were amazed to be honest. From the Criterion Track, Meryl Friend, News Geelong. Thank you Meryl and congratulations Don on your progress. Keep up the good work. Turning 25 for a large community centre is a big event and Splashdown is certainly no exception as it provides various health recreational and fitness activities with indoor water slides and aquatics providing entertainment for the whole family. Ian Nichols reports. Well, here we are at the Splashdown Centre, 25 years of age, and a very special occasion today. Medals that were minted on day one, 1987, have been presented to the city of Greater Geelong by the former Shire president of the Ballerine Shire, Mick Robinson. Well, an historic occasion with uh, 25 years of Splashdown. We've heard some wonderful stories today, particularly from Mick Robinson, who was the Ballerine Shire president at that time. It was the biggest capital works undertaking back in 1987. Nothing ever quite like this was there, Mick? No, there was not, no. Uh, we, we broke new ground with um, take, taking, taking a gamble to, uh, to do something like this. It was a gamble because uh, we had to justify it from a financial point of view uh, to build it, but uh, at the end of the day, it, it pr it's proved a success and still is a very successful operation. Well, a special occasion today because some medals that were minted at that time, and I believe you paid for them out of your own kick, Mick, how did that happen? 
Well, uh, because it was such an important occasion, and I, I used to be um, in, into uh, uh, coin collecting at that time, and, and so it was a little bit of a passion of mine, and uh, I wanted to do something special. And the other factor that comes into it is on the, on the medallions, uh, there's my name. And I've researched that to the point where there's no other medallion being struck around Geelong for the last 100 years back to 1897 when uh, Queen Victoria had her 60th anniversary and all the councils put something out, was there a councillor's name on any medallion? Well, maybe I'll have to change that, Mick. <laughs> yeah. Well, today you've received them, uh, Mayor Mitchell. You've got, uh, got a place for them, a, a special place here at Splashdown where you'll have them displayed to the public. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll we'll uh, you know, put them up where they're displayed to the public. And uh, Look, it is, it is a, great, uh, a great thing, you know, when... When people take risks, and uh, and I think uh, you know what Mick said, it was a risk in those days, uh, and uh, you know it stood the test of time. And it's no different to uh, to this council taking a risk on the LeisureLink uh, project, some 35 million dollars. And I know it's uh, yeah, that's how things change. But uh, at that LeisureLink uh, centre now, we've had to expand the car park. We've got a library attached to it, and there's over 100,000 visitors uh, a month going through that centre. So, you know, it was innovative in your day, Mick, and uh, Leisure Link's been innovative in our days. But councils have to take risk because there's no point in, uh, in building centres uh, once you've got the capital together. You've got to build them before you've got the capital together and, and be able to afford to pay for them. So everyone can get use of them. There's no point in uh, using ratepayers' money to build something in 50 years' time when half the ratepayers aren't with us anymore. So we've got to get people, give people the advantage of using these centres, so we, we, we do have to have to take that little risk. At the Splashdown Centre in Coppards Road, Whittington, Ian Nichols for News Geelong. Thank you, Ian. The Cadinia Park Precinct is a regional significant reserve, including home to our Geelong Cats AFL Football Club, and the Geelong Premier League Cricket Club. The park is also a major netball centre for the Geelong region with up to 5,000 netballers playing each week. And now thanks to a $1.4 million redevelopment, there are nine competition standard courts, including a feature show court, as Merrill Friend reports. On Friday the 14th of September it was the official opening of the Cadinia Park Netball Complex, a $590,000 refurbishment funded by the Federal Government and the City of Greater Geelong. Look, it's a, it's, it's a real pleasure for me to be here uh, at the opening of this complex. The, the pavilion that you can see behind us has had a total refurbishment, a, a redesign which sees more space for administrators and players, um, flooring upgrades, seating upgrades. Uh, the, it, it really is the deserved uh, standard that it should be for what is the, the home building of such an important sport for our city. And, and right here, I think, almost more so than Cadinia Park, which is just across there, or, uh, Simmons Stadium is the, the this is the spiritual heart of, of sport in Geelong, uh, and Cadinia, the, the total Cadinia Park precinct is a, a a wonderful place. Here in the netball complex alone, we're now seeing 4,000 people come through here a month, so this is very well utilised, uh, and and it deserved an upgrade. And, and now I think it's a uh, in a fitting state for what is such an important sport for the people of Geelong. This is uh, you know a classic opportunity where you see the three levels of government uh, working together. Uh, the council and the federal government have probably put the bulk of the money in, but uh, the state government contributed as well. So, uh, you know, it's just uh, one of those things that I would suggest that this would be as good a netball facility as anywhere in regional Victoria, if not regional Australia. And you were saying before about the, the figures of the participants since last year. Yeah, well, participation, since we've uh, resurfaced the courts, participation's risen by some 20%. Uh, you know, it's the fastest growing sport in Australia. But in Geelong, 20% is a big rise. And it just goes to show if you build it, they'll come. You know, like the facilities are now are used by a far greater uh, amount of people uh, instead of just the way they were used before. Uh, council manages it and it's, um, it really is working well. And we're joined by Australian netballer Tegan Caldwell from the Melbourne Vixens. And what does a complex like this mean for netballers, do you think? I think it's a great opportunity for all the girls um, to participate. And I know if there was a facility like this when I was growing up that it just would have been fantastic. So, um, yeah, it's a wonderful thing that they've done here. And so moving on from junior netball, you've had a, a fantastic career yourself. How's the injury going with the ankle? Yeah, it's going really well. So all positives. Saw the physio today and got some great feedback. So hopefully be back in a couple of months ready to go for next year. From the Cadinia Park Netball Complex, Merrill Friend, News Geelong. Thank you, Merrill. 
And not to forget the Olympic swimming pools, Mitch, down there at Cadinia Park Reserve. We're going to take a break on News Geelong. I'll be back with more news after this. (laughs) 